Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Profeta and here we react to music and uh, if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Used Vintage Journals. I wrote in this one. You cannot buy this. But it sponsored the video nonetheless. Now, today we're going to be reacting to Pink Floyd. The song is Sheep and Pigs on the Wing, I think I'm going to put in this video as well. So. Wow, the whole Pink Floyd album, I guess, is going to be in three videos? I guess so. All right. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Let's get into this. Uh, yeah, link to the original playlist is down below in the description. Let's go. <laughs> Well, Pink Floyd's use of stereo and surround sound. Like, they do such a good job sonically mastering their stuff.
sound of evil. be my favorite song on the album. That's awesome. Three, two... One, this is my favorite song on the album so far. I've loved all of it, but this, the lyrics, oh my goodness gracious, wow. The music made me feel so many different things. Also, the music's really like, has a driving rhythm to it. I love it. Let's go.
triumphant ending. the sheep it's the last song We'll just listen to it in this video. We'll finish it off. Pigs on the wing, too. You know that I care. What happens to you? And I know that you care For me too So I don't feel alone On the way to the stone Now that I've found somewhere safe To bury my bones any fool knows a dog needs a home a shelter from pigs on the wing wow Wow. Holy. So good. Man, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. That was my favorite song on the album. I'm sorry I keep messing with my hair, but this stupid thing ugh, won't stay where I want it. Whatever. All right. Um, welcome back. Or no, not welcome back because we you're already watching the video. All right. Again, this is confusing even to me the way I edit this. All right. So we just finished Pink Floyd, Animals. Sheep was my favorite song on the album. The whole album was spectacular. Um, uh, yeah, the whole album was spectacular. But Sheep by far knocked it out of the park. Um, home run. Base is loaded. We got a grand slam. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here for Sheep. This is acting as Pink Floyd's message to their fans. Sheep, which was initially titled Raving and Drooling, continues at the theme developed in the album. It describes a circumstance where people follow an ideology without knowing the reason. Similarly, in Animal Farm, the novella that inspired the album, the sheep were animals that would burst blindly into a chant of four legs good, two legs bad. They did as they were told without any hesitation and went along with the idea that the, of the rest of the sheep and the majority of the animals. Their theme evidences itself throughout the lyrics of the song where the sheep follow the rules set for them. This song, lyrically, is extremely powerful. Let's get into it. Harmlessly passing your time in the grassland away, only dimly aware of a certain unease in the air. So you're harmless. You're harmless. Passing your time in the grassland. Dimly aware of unease. Completely ignoring it. You better watch out. There may be dogs about. 
I've looked over Jordan and I have seen things are not what they seem. The River Jordan? Is that what that's supposed to mean? This lyric says that a whistleblower is warning the sheep of dogs that may be roaming around the grasslands. This is, in fact, the only time on the album that an animal from one song is mentioned on another, and it does so for good reason. Three animals are displayed on the album, pigs, dogs, and sheep. And although the pigs are irrelevant, although the pigs are kind of irrelevant to this song, Naturally, dogs, or in this case, wolves, are carnivores, hunt down weaker animals, eat them to survive and thrive. Meanwhile, sheep are naturally weak. They scare away in herds and don't hesitate to blindly follow if they receive a chance to live. These two are opposites, and the wolves are famous for hunting sheep and killing and eating them. If you look at this from a metaphorical point of view, the sheep are foolish, weak-minded, obedient citizens who gladly obey anybody who they fear going against. Meanwhile, the dogs are shameless predators who are constantly on the hunt for victims to manipulate. They are businessmen who scam naive people for their self-gain. These types of people tend to go after weaklings, thus making sheep the perfect victims for them. This line is a reworking of the American spiritual song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see coming for to carry me home, right? Geogra geographically, Jordan is a river flowing to the Dead Sea. To the Dead Sea. Currently, the river serves as the eastern border of the state of Palestine and the Israeli-occupied West Bank and the western border of, jo of the Jordan. In the Bible, the River Jordan was crossed by the Israelites. All right. In the context of the song, the narrator is warning the sheep that the promised land they are working towards is not what they are expecting. What do you get for pretending the danger is not real? Meek and obedient, you follow the leader. Down well-trodden corridors into the Valley of Steel. It's a, like Valley of sh the Shadow of Death. What a surprise. A look of terminal shock in your eyes. Now things are really what they seem. No, this is not a bad dream. So well-trodden corridors you follow, being led into the slaughterhouse, unaware of the fate that awaits them. It represents many people's blind faith in an ideology which is harming them unknowingly. This refers to the book Animal Farm, which this album is mostly inspired by, and where the, through the book, the sheep and other animals pretend danger is not real, which leads to the pigs becoming even more pressing than the humans before. And when the pigs start walking on two legs, that's when they realize that now things are really what they seem. The animals just realize what happened to their dream. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, then this interlude, which is so powerful. So then we've got stone, stone, stone. For a while before Waters' heavily modified voice starts reciting a psalm, that was very interesting too. I did not expect Pink Floyd to be using what sounded like either vocoder or autotune on their on their vocals. Probably vocoder, but very interesting. I liked it. It was it was different, and it added to the overall song i see people get mad at vocal effects all the time um specifically like the type of people who often watch my channel you know stuff like vocoders or autotune and stuff like that um and i understand when it's used just to cover up the fact that someone can't sing uh but um waters we know we, we know he can sing and that part is it, it adds a sonic quality to the whole thing. It adds more varied sounds. You know, it, it, uh, it adds to the album, the overall feel of it. And I enjoy when vocal effects are tastefully used like that. It's cool. Anyway, all right. This is strengthening the connection between the two songs, between the songs Dogs and Sheep. Good. Interesting. Interesting. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It starts... Like that. He makes me down to lie. And it starts to twist it. He makes me down instead of he makes me lie down. He makes me down to lie. Through pastures green, he leadeth me the silent waters by. If we are God's lambs, then Christ is our shepherd. It's a good analogy to describe his love for us. A shepherd will risk his life to protect. Wow. It's interesting. A uh, shepherd will risk his life to protect his lambs. He feeds them, shelters them, and he cares for their wounds. A good shepherd sees to it that his lambs want for nothing. Psalm 23 is about depending entirely upon God and how God will take care of you. And surprisingly, there is no 
rebuttal comments to this comment. That's nice. All right, let's continue. What knives he bringeth, releaseth. No, sorry. What knives with, sorry, with bright knives he releaseth my soul. He maketh me to hang on hooks in high places. He converteth me to lamb cutlets. For lo, he hath great power and great hunger. When cometh the day that we lowly ones through quiet reflection and great dedication master the art of karate. Lo, we shall rise up, and then we'll make the bugger's eyes water. But now he twists the verse in a way, referencing how religion and politics is used by those in power to control the masses. Opium, or sorry, religion, the opium of the masses. There we go. Who otherwise could rise against them? The sheep following the leader will be slaughtered and cut into lamb chops. In between, they are hung from hooks in high places. Unless they wake up and listen to the message, don't trust anyone, and... Fight the power, rise against the manipulative powers. Bleeding and babbling, we fell on his neck with a scream. Sounds like they attack him at the end. Wave upon wave of demented Avengers march cheerfully out of obscurity into the dream. Have you heard the news? The dogs are dead. You better stay home and do as you're told. Get out of the road if you want to grow old. The sheep rise up and rise up against the dogs in a bloody political battle. The same exact scream that Roger Waters gives here can also be heard towards the end of the first guitar solo from Dogs. Sheep was a reworking of a song called Raving and Drooling, which was a song Pink Floyd played on tour before they decided what to do with it. The key line was Raving and Drooling, We Fell on His Neck with a Scream. The other song was Gotta Be Crazy, which became Dogs. The, the rebelling, the rebel, the rebels, oppressed rebelling oppressed have taken control of society anarchy reigns and the sheep are now the dogs however the former sheep not knowledgeable of how to properly and fairly utilize utilize this newfound power regress to the subjugation of their previous oppressors the sheep who didn't revolt remain oppressed by the new dogs the blind leading the blind in a sil in a in a circular pattern of despotic power and resulting rebellion Society. Don't we live in a society, my friends? Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. There you go. And that's Sheep. Then we come to the final song on the album, which ended, surprisingly, with a, a note that I quite enjoyed. A posit almost positive note. Pigs on the Wing, Part 2. Pigs on the Wing Part 2 serves as the second part of the bookend song Pigs. This track is a lighter themed song amidst the anger filled tracks with a glimpse of hope in society. The track describes how the protagonist stopped being a dog after they acknowledged someone else's affection for them. You know that I care what happens to you. So let's remember what he said earlier. If you didn't care what happens to me, and if I didn't care for you, then we would be filled, we would be bored and filled with pain. You know that I care what happens to you, and I know that you care for me too. So now I don't feel alone, and I don't feel the weight of the stone. Now that I've found somewhere safe to bury my bones, and any fool knows a dog needs a home, a shelter from the pigs on the wing. Absolutely beautiful, masterful, incredible ending to this album. I loved it. So, thank you for introducing me to all of this. I love it. Pink Floyd, top tier, probably top five, really, band. Like, I'm not going to say where in that list, but very, very high. Pink Floyd, big thumbs up. All right. This line, along with the previous ones alone, is a reference to earlier track dogs, reference slowly being dragged down by the metaphorical stone of a difficult life as a dog. So have a good drown as you go down, all alone dragged down by the stone. This line is the final confirmation that Water's character throughout the album is a dog. The dog's self-centered lifestyle is what will be his demise, as the dog's lyrics imply. Yeah, most people are either one of the dogs... Only not as, I feel like people are not as, maybe they are. Because I was trying to think while listening to the album, which, who am I in that, in this allegory? Obviously, it's just a pretty cynical idea of things. I hope to God I'm not a sheep, you know. Um, 
So I'm gonna assume I'm a I'm a dog because I want to be an entrepreneur and be a successful, you know, artist and stuff like that. And that's what I'm hoping I can do with my life. But I don't think I would like backstab people, right? You know, like that would go against my moral compass, so to speak. Um, which certainly isn't perfect, but I I. The dogs seem like they're cutthroat. They want to, like, they would literally kill another person to raise their own status. Um, so I guess hopefully I come to the conclusion that Waters came to where you find another human being, you know, to put effort into, to help, to build up, to reciprocate, to share, and to come to understand an aspect of humanity that you wouldn't otherwise, and also feel more fulfilled. Um, I think Jim Carrey might be the person who said, um, <laughs> what did he say? He said, I wish everyone could become rich and famous and achieve all of their dreams so that they realize that none of that brings any sort of happiness. That's not it. So anyway, um, yeah, so Water's character throughout the album is a dog. The dog's self-centered lifestyle is what will be his demise, as the dog's lyrics imply. But his newfound love is something that dulls the feeling of solitude and slow descent this particular dog is feeling. At the end of the album, the sheep rise up in a glorious revolt, but the cycle begins again. After all of it, the narrator, the narrator, who may in fact have been the dog from the beginning, was so apathetic about other people in his life, he finally realizes the importance of maintaining his personal relationships with the people that he cares about. Without each other in part one, they would be doomed to be separated and pander through the pain of human existence without someone else to lean upon. Forever blaming others for their misery and always under threat from the pigs on the wing, whatever predators are out there willing to take advantage, divided we fall. But in part two, the narrator has learned a great deal from dogs, pigs, and sheep that when they comfort each other, he or she is no longer feels as vulnerable from the prospect of dying alone in an uncaring world. The old dog has found a home and cruelly fell victim to the machines of human and nearly fell victim to the machines of human cruelty. Now they can watch out for each other. And while not completely safe, they know to look out for pigs on the wing. Roger Waters gives a subtle nod to an animal shelter located um, close to the Battersea power station that is shown on the album's cover, Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. This rounds up the album, rounds up the theme of the album rather well, as Battersea features both symbols of industrial hubris and humane care. And so we come to the end of Animals. One of the most inspired albums I've ever heard. One of the most glorious tributes to a novel I've ever heard. Thank you very much for joining me. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Make sure you look at my used vintage journal. There you go. Incredible work here. Incredible album. Everything about it. It's beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope to see you again soon. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you want to see more Pink Floyd, we have the entirety of I did Wish You Were Here on YouTube. Then I've also reacted to the albums Metal and Dark Side of the Moon. However, those got completely those were done in one video before I realized I should cut them up and they were blocked. I have them on Patreon. If you go into the uh, link in the description, you can find my Patreon page. Consider joining if you want. Obviously, you don't have to. I would recommend clicking on the link anyway because it um, there is free stuff on there as well that you don't have to like pay to see. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to support the channel and see that stuff or if you just want to see some of the free stuff, check that out. And thank you very much for joining me. I will see you guys soon. Deathstroke 9, out. We are Legion, my friends. Um, be on the lookout for pigs on the wing.